Who are you? I am the profound Professor V, the genius who invented the quantum pistol, the rocket to Sagittarius, the window to the other worlds. My name is Jeremy Valdez. Jeremy. There was another Jeremy I met once. Well, lots, but the one stuck in my mind. Clever man, a salesman. Can't trust them an inch if you give them a mile, but that wasn't me. How did you build this facility? Oh, dug it all out. Tricky bit was the supports. Used solid Valdezium to hold it up. That's my own invention. Name trademarked, patent pending, unless I forgot to send the application. How do your inventions work? Oh, I'm a genius. Have I mentioned that? I'm sure I have. It's in my notes, yes. Yes, you've read them, haven't you? I left them simply everywhere. You can't miss them. Uh, when did you start inventing things? Oh, let's see, let's see. Was it 93, 94? I'd forget my head if I didn't keep it carefully labeled. In the closet. No, wait, that's not the note I was looking for. Ah, here, history. Good heavens, 91. Has it been that long? Wait, how long has it been? What's the date? Never mind. Anyway, I started having ideas one day. Just ideas pouring in from everywhere. Can hardly look at a shovel without getting an idea for a digging machine. Or a computer without seeing if it dreams of sheep. Oh, I could use lasers for a drill. Taking note. I'd always been a tinker, ever since I was a boy. Had model rockets and ray guns, all sorts of toys like that. Get them from stores or mail order or wherever I could. How is this facility powered? Oh, you just plug things in, simple as anything. Ultimately draws from the ether. They say there's no such thing, but you just have to know where to look. It's under all that quantum stuff. Or was it in the imaginary numbers? Somewhere like that. I'd have to look at my notes. Uh, we've had difficulties in reading your notes. Oh, well, that's easy enough. You just need to know how things are broken out. There's a note about that somewhere. Your notes seem... incomplete. Well, that's a pity. I tried to keep it all together, but things get put here and there. Can't do a thing without my notes. Let me check my notes. Mm, yes, can't do a thing without them. Says it right here. You can't argue with that. It's in my notes. How were you able to afford all the materials you used in your inventions? Oh, a bit of this, a bit of that. I make things for people, sometimes for sale, sometimes barter. Done some honest work before I got to that point, of course. Worked for a pro lab back in the day. Did R&D for a manufacturing plant. Made smoke alarms or toys or some such. Hard keeping it all straight these days. Do you have any outstanding orders? Not at the moment, no. But there's always new business just around the corner. People need things built. Sound guns, hypnosis lenses, rocket skis. Night vision goggles that work even when there's no light whatsoever. A little pedestrian, but it pays the bills. Haven't heard much lately, but I'm sure they'll be in touch soon. Are you aware of your current condition? What, brilliant, handsome, brain in a jar? Hadn't escaped my notice. How are you still alive? Good diet and exercise, healthy living. Oh, and the electrolytes. It's in my notes somewhere, the whole process. Never will look at mashed potatoes the same way, I'll tell you that. Do any of your family or friends know about your condition? No, not really. Family was never close, and most of my friends are online these days. On the internet, nobody knows you're a brain in a jar. Or a cat, or whatever. You've heard the joke, I'm sure. Uh-huh. How did it happen? You know, I'm not entirely sure anymore. I don't think I was dying or anything. No, my body's still perfectly viable, if I can remember where I put it all. Can't remember why I did it, or quite when. I'm sure it seemed like a good idea at the time, usually does. Somehow didn't work out quite how I thought, I don't think. Or maybe it did. Anyway, I get by.